and, and also I think in the reading world, so many people come to reading not from an artist background. You know, they, we, come, we come as makers. Mm -hmm. We have a very strong craft background. And so anything we can do to strengthen um, or uh, even supply those, those visual art tools is mm -hmm. helpful. Mm -hmm. And because so many readers then become dyers. Mm -hmm. And again, we're, we're dying and we're just kind of taking with whatever we get, going, oh, I love it, I love it. Oh, yeah. It doesn't always, you know. It doesn't work we, with that gray. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. can have more control than that. Yeah. Yeah. Not just accepting what, what the dye pot gave us. Mm -hmm. and yeah. so, so we're, you know, as we, as we, build, as we build a palette mm -hmm. to work from. Mm -hmm. And because I use, I, I do a lot of uh, corporate work work and I do pieces that have to be in moments for mm -hmm. centuries, not centuries, but yeah. decades. Yeah, yeah. And I have to have very controlled color. Mm -hmm. I use I don't use a natural dye system for those. Mm -hmm. That gives me a lot of color control and so I have walls of yarn and we have thousands of recipes that we use. But, but I'm in Nebraska. Mm -hmm. 